it's a captivating story. Benjamin Franklin was afflicted with gout, and as the first American ambassador to France, learned about the use of the autumn crocus, botanically known as Colchicum autumnale, to treat the disease. He then introduced the plant to North America, uh, earning the gratitude of all gout sufferers. While well, Franklin did have gout, there is no evidence in any of his writings that he used any sort of extract of the autumn crocus to treat the disease. It is true that a preparation called O Medicale uh, was concocted by a French army officer, Nicolas Husson, and it was available in France at the time as a supposed cure-all, including for gout. But it was not until 1814, 24 years after Franklin's death, that it was shown to contain an extract of the root of the autumn crocus. The extract contained colchicine, an anti-inflammatory substance that does actually control the pain of gout, which is an inflammation caused by the buildup of uric acid in joints. Husson was not the first person to discover the effect. The Ebers Papyrus, an Egyptian medical text dating back to about 1500 BC, mentions the autumn crocus as a treatment for swollen joints, and Greek physician Dioscorides, in his first century AD opus De Materia Medica, describes the use of autumn crocus as a treatment for gout. Today, colchicine, extracted from the autumn crocus, is still used to treat gout, mostly in people unable to tolerate non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the NSAIDs. It is also used to prevent a heart attack caused by inflammation associated with atherosclerosis, the hardening of the arteries, caused by the buildup of plaque as a result of high cholesterol, hypertension, obesity, or diabetes. Colchicine finds another application in a totally unrelated area as well. When certain plants are treated with colchicine, they reproduce in such a fashion that they have more than the normal two sets of chromosomes. This can result in some favorable characteristics, such as uh, the seedless watermelon. But there's something else that colchicine can do, kill people. The chemical is highly toxic in uh, doses not far above therapeutic amounts. It first causes severe gastrointestinal symptoms and then the shutdown of vital organs. Dr. Connor Bowman, having worked in a poison control center, knew all about the toxicity of colchicine. And it seems he put his knowledge to use as he stands accused of murdering his wife with the drug. Suspicion was aroused by Bowman's demands for a quick cremation and the revelation that the couple had marital and financial difficulties. That called for an investigation by the medical examiner who found colchicine in her blood. Detectives then discovered that Dr. Bowman had carried out an internet search for the relationship between body weight and a toxic dose of colchicine. The weight he searched for corresponded to that of his wife. A trial awaits. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.